much that you are here to bear witness to this uh, deep and most sacred spiritual commitment that any one of us can make. This interfaith journey has been a beautiful recognition that there are many paths to the divine and that the greatest path is the one within. Interfaith holistically integrates the wisdom traditions with, through their shared universal truths. I chose this journey as a seeker of this wisdom and these universal truths, driven by my spirit's mission to alleviate the vast suffering that is prevalent among humanity, to find the spiritual solutions to our world's problems. And while there are many master teachers to emulate, it is this inward journey where the true answers lie. For me, being a minister is to walk the path of peace, found in the vibration of love and the action of service. It is love that has the power to transform our world. It is love that is the language of the divine. For me, being a minister is walking with courage and honor for all sentient beings and for our Mother Earth. It is about holding space for others to experience and express their own truths and to honor their divinity. This commitment I make is one of service to those who are more marginalized through our social systems of power. Our world is a dangerous place for many, and I affirm I will not look away nor be a bystander. I will defend the defenseless. So I'll end with some beautiful wisdom from some of our teachers. Isaiah 117 says, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. The Quran, it is said, a man's true wealth is the good he does in this world. In Thich Nhat Hanh's Manifesto 2000 for a culture of peace and nonviolence, the pledge is to share my time and material resources in a spirit of generosity to put an end to exclusion, injustice, and political and economic oppression. So this is my affirmation. 